Hello boys and girls, and welcome to a brand new video. As you can see here, this beautiful G-Class Mercedes came here for a little polishing work. Closely, the fairing on the side here has been repainted and there's quite a significant amount of orange peel in the paint. How to remove orange peel from a metal surface is not a big issue, however the surface here is plastic. However, we pride ourselves in solving very difficult tasks. So in this video, we will show you the exact process of how to remove an orange peel from a plastic painted surface using sanding process. Boys and girls, stay tuned until the end of the video to see how it's done. This process will be using my trusty Mirka 5.0 De Ross sanding machine as well as Kovacs sanding papers. When it comes to sanding papers, which are dry sanding papers, we'll be using 1000, 1500, 2000, 3000 grit papers and to finish it off, a 3M Trizac 6000 grade paper. My secret here is that I use already used sanding papers because they're far less aggressive and we need them to be as gentle and soft to the painted plastic surfaces to avoid any additional damage that they might cause. I will do my best to try and correct this wonderful paint job afterthought. Protecting is, of course, the most important part of this process. As you can see here, we have a lot of rubber pieces that we need to protect with our tape before we start any sanding process. We will be using a 1000 grit dry sand paper. And when we put it on our Mirka 5.0 De Ross, we will use the minimum speed. What you have to be aware of is that we must avoid damaging these edges here, as you can see. Uh, this is why we will use almost no pressure at all. And this is the main reason why we use old sanding papers instead of new. I will show you how far you can go with the process, when to stop, and let's begin. As far as I'll go with a 1000 grit, let's move to a 1500. So let's continue with a 1500 grit paper. As you can see here, there has been some work done and I will show you later on how to deal with this. Make sure to frequently clean all the residue from the paper, not allowing it to get filthy too much. This is the result you will get after using the 1500 grit dry sanding paper. So as you can see, we've caused no additional damage to the 
artistic paintwork here. Uh, however, you will see the transitions on uh, the fairing piece here, as well as along the side over here. So we will continue with the process. Maybe we might cause some damage, but if we do, it will be on a very minimum level. So now let's move to the 2000 grit dry sanding paper and hopefully avoid damaging the paint. We will use the 2000 sandpaper to sand down all the remaining unevenness left behind from the 1500 grit paper. What we do here is go back, back. we're moving to a 3000 grit paper and of course you will see what that looks like when I finish before moving on to the 6000 grit. Before we start using the 6000 grit paper, which in this case is a wet sandpaper, we have to clean the surface and as well and check the pad as well to see if there's any residue or any dust or any type of rocks in it. We need to avoid any impurities before we start using it. So now we'll take some water mixed with uh, car shampoo, uh, mix it up a little bit and put it on our pad. We will use absolutely no pressure to finish this off, so let's begin. The result that we get after using the 6000 grit wet sanding paper before we start the polishing process. But now let's also see the transition that was left behind from someone else's handiwork. Um, as you can see, it will not be very apparent now. Maybe in time it will return, but it will not be um, very visible at all. Um, so yeah, let's see it. So look closer here. This is the transition that was left behind from someone else's work. It is very minor. It is visible for now, but disregarding it, the final sanding process is actually looking really good. So before I show you the final result of the polishing process, let me show you the products that I've used. I've used the products from the firm Evo Car. I've used the heavy cut paste. Then we continued with the fine cut, also a finisher paste in this case. And I've also used the IPA degreaser, which is one of the most important components in the whole process. Let's look at the finished product. Let's look at it against the neon light from within this garage. As you can see here, the edges are completely safe, they are not ruined or damaged, and uh, the orange peel is completely gone. The finish looks factory-like. There are no holograms, no unevenness uh, that you can see. The light is completely straight in the paint job itself, which shows you that 
the paint job is flat and nice and beautiful and polished and wonderful. Yes, we love wonderful boys and girls. And also, we're missing the transition if you see a little bit closer. There's no transition to be seen, so we managed to fix that fabulous paint job left behind by someone else. Look at the finished product. After five days of work, this vehicle is finally finished. There are many hours left behind on this project, but it looks fabulous. So what I've shown you today is how to remove the orange peel from the plastic bits that have been painted and of course uh, how to use the machine itself not to do the sanding process on single part but move around and not to use additional pressure when doing the sanding process. Make sure to use all sanding papers in the correct order, do not skip the order itself because otherwise you will not get the wonderful finisher after you finish the polishing process. So, boys and girls, thank you for staying tuned. Like, subscribe, comment, hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button and leave a comment with a question if you want it answered. I will try to do my best. Stay safe and see you next time.